Hey everyone, this is Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In this tutorial, you're going to find out how to display booked items on the user page easily. Before we begin, please make sure you are subscribed to our channel and do not forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need the following a Jet Engine and Jet Booking plugins installed and activated. We will also be using the Query Builder, Jet Engine Forms, and Listings. So, in case you need more detailed information, just check the video tutorials we have on our channel. Also, before we proceed, go to the Jet Engine and make sure you have Profile Builder and Forms modules enabled. Ok? Now go to Bookings Settings Click on New Column button and enter User ID Proceed to DB Tables tab and Update Tables Now we have to create a query Go to Jet Engine, Query Builder, and add a new one. Let's name it Query Booked Items. Set SQL Query as a query type, and below in the Custom SQL Query section, select Jet Apartment Bookings. The next step. Add new query clause, select user ID in the column, choose equal in the next option, and set current user ID as a value. Data type will be numeric. Scroll down and in the included columns, select what columns should be included into the query results. In my case, I will choose all of them. Finally, click Add Query. Now you have to create a booking form. For that, go to Forms and either add a new form or edit the existing one. Here are the fields I have in this form. One hidden field with room ID. Then I also added such fields as name, email, and phone number. For the dates, I selected check-in, check-out dates field type. You can add more fields to this form, but please make sure that you have one more hidden field for user ID with current user ID selected as a field value. And of course, there has to be a submit button in the form. As for post submit actions, you have to add apartment booking action and, first of all, set Apartment Booking as a type, Apartment ID field, Room ID, Check-in, Check-out date field, Dates, then Order ID, Inserted Post ID, and User ID should match User ID. Publish your form. To display booking details, we have to create a listing. So, go to Listings and add a new one. Select Query Builder as a listing source and choose the query you created in the previous step from the list. Of course, name your listing item and hit Create. Now find Dynamic Field Widget and add it to the section. Make sure you have Post Term User Object Data set as a source and in the Object field, 
Scroll down to Query section and select Booking ID. Turn on the Customize Field Output toggle. And in the field format, enter Booking ID. Now simply duplicate the widget and this time set Object Field to Status. And also don't forget to change the field format. I will repeat the same process again, selecting Apartment ID for the third widget and also enabling Filter Field Output and setting Get Post Page Link as a callback. And this way it will have the apartment link. If you also add Check-in and Check-out dates, enable Filter Field Output toggle and set callback to Format Date Localized. The last one here will be a user ID. Also, you can add order ID, but it's fully optional. Don't forget to style the listing and once you're done, click update. And now go back to the dashboard and proceed to Templates. Add a new one. It will be a user's page that will include the booked items. Add a listing grid widget and select the listing item you've just created. It shows no data was found for now because there are no booked properties. Adjust the column's number and add a heading if needed. That's pretty much it. The last step is to link this page to the user's account. For that, go to Jet Engine, Profile Builder, click on the Account Page tab, and add a page, let's say, My Rooms. And don't forget to select the template with the listing grid. Hit Save, and it's time to check the front end. I will open this property and fill in the form. OK, as you can see, the form is submitted. And if I open the account page, there will be one booked item. It has a booking ID, status, that's the link, also dates are correct, and we can also see the user ID. Let me book one more item. Here we go, it means that everything works properly. To see and manage these booked items, go to the dashboard Bookings. So the booked properties have order IDs and their status is pending. To change it, click Edit and select the needed option. Let's say this one is completed. If we go back to the account page, the status shows completed as well. This will be it for today's tutorial. Hit the like button if it was useful for you and make sure you are subscribed. By the way, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.